Although forced back to the edges of their peninsula by France and the traitors who helped them, Spain is not yet out of the fight. The Supreme Central Junta and its successor, the Supreme Regency, authorized the forming of local bands to fight guerrilla, the little war, against the invaders. Guerrilla bands should be used to frustrate the plans and harass the peripheries of the French armies, as both separate actions and in coordination with British forces currently based in Portugal. This cooperation with heretical Great Britain is an uneasy one, as your two countries have long been enemies with opposing doctrines and are now united only in the desire to rid Europe of Napoleon's imperialism. There is, of course, another war to be won also. A war of words, hearts and minds in the villages and towns surrounding the capital, Madrid. Bonapartists provocateurs are speaking out against Spanish sovereignty and the resistance to their rule. And the priesthood must be used to change the people's minds and remind them what it is to be a proud and patriotic people once more. Militarily, Madrid is the center of French power in Spain so its liberation is an absolute priority. In the north of the country, the British will be taking advantage of the coasts to land fresh troops from England and fresh supplies from its colonies. So a concentration of effort should also be made to keep the French presence in those regions as insignificant as possible. It is 1811 and the war in the Spanish peninsula has been raging for over two years, with mixed fortunes and heavy casualties for both sides. Following the withdrawal from the Madrid area of the combined armies of Great Britain, Portugal and Spain after the Battle of Talavera in July 1809, a costly stalemate for the Allies, Viscount Wellington retreated into Portugal and consolidated his forces, also authorizing the construction of a series of connected forts and earthworks, the lines of Torres Vedras. Now, Napoleon's Armée d'Espagne, led by Marshal Massena, has invaded Portugal once again. But thus far, the network of entrenchments has proved impossible for the French to successfully assail. Fresh troops have been sent from England, available via the construction and control of supply ports in coastal regions. Upon their arrival, Wellington has planned a fresh offensive to drive the invaders out of Portugal and eventually out of the peninsula altogether. Resistance to French rule by the Spanish has led to small local bands using guerrilla tactics, meaning little war. Guerrilla warfare allows French forces to be eroded through constant harassment by irregulars supported by local inhabitants who attack with the element of surprise and are able to melt back into the countryside as quickly as they appear. It is hoped that the guerrillas, in combination with a reinvigorated British army, can drive the forces of Imperial France from the peninsula region once and for all. The Emperor's mission to bring the revolution to the European masses has not been an easy task in the Spanish peninsula. France's attempts to annex Portugal have led to Great Britain's involvement in the liberation of their ancient ally. Although largely having failed in their attempts to capture territory from us, and with their original commanders slain in battle, Great Britain, under the command of Viscount Wellington, and with the aid of a complex fort system guarding the approaches to the capital, are pushing French forces out of Portugal for the second time. With your armies in retreat, it is now time to consolidate your efforts to repel Wellington's British army as they land and head into Spain. So control of coastal regions is vital to prevent further landings. Meanwhile, the Spanish resistance is in full swing. Your armies will continue to be harassed by the cowardly guerrilla bands and their hit and run tactics. They must be stamped out their presence is damaging to army morale, troop numbers, and France's attempt to bring enlightened government to the peninsula. They must be crushed without exception and without mercy. Of course, there is also another war to be won in the peninsula, although many Spanish people in the center of the country support the revolution, priests continue to speak out against the emperor from the pulpit. So it is vital that your own provocateurs promote the ideals of the revolution and spread your propaganda in the outlying towns and cities. <laughs>